Hey, LHS. I'm Olivia. And I'm Reed. World Reed Allowed Day huh, huh, is uh, tomorrow. So we would like to challenge all teachers to spend at least 15 minutes or so reading aloud to your students or having them read aloud to one another. There was no discrepancy of years between us to remove her far from me. They were nearly the same age. Though, of course, age told her beauty and her manner gave me, tormented me in the midst of my delight. At the height of her assurance, I felt that our patroness had chosen us for one another. Wretched boy. This is a great way to engage students in reading and support school-wide literacy. Studies show that reading aloud benefits all students, even high schoolers. Reading aloud is also known to sharpen focus, increase vocabulary, result in greater comprehension, challenge use of intonation, and improve listening and reading skills. Uh, and functional fitness, some of the things that you will do in here. Obviously, we're in the weight room, you will do weight room stuff. You'll also be in the commons doing conditioning stuff. This is not just we're playing sports. And functional fitness and what it means is being able to do stuff throughout a lifetime and being have that functional functionality of being able to do something. For instance, like picking something up and sitting it up high. So I would squat down, pick up, and sit it up high. Uh, that's the type of stuff that we will do in here, whether you've heard of CrossFit. Uh, that's that's kind of the stuff, circuit training, heavy lifting, you'll learn all sorts of stuff. So you do not have to be an athlete to be in this class, but you got to have a, a willingness and intrinsic motivation to come in here and try to better yourself because what you put in is what you're going to get out. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Crawley. I'm the instructor for AP. That's Advanced Placement. Human Geography. Now, AP Human Geography covers the entire world. We cover things such as population, cultural aspects such as religion, language, agriculture, political organization, economic systems, city construction, and farming. Some people think it's just for freshmen. This is the only course freshmen may take, but this is open to all students, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. If you're interested in what's going on in the world, this may be the course for you. Hey, I'm Mr. Jenkins, and I'm really wanting you to take my Latin 1 class next semester. It's offered in the fall, and Latin 2 is in the spring. Uh, since you have to take foreign language anyways, why not take it with an extremely fun teacher where we learn all kinds of things about ancient culture, ancient literature, and the ancient language of Latin. Newsflash, Latin is actually not dead. It lives on in the other languages we offer here, such as Spanish and French. But why don't you go ahead and roll it on back to Latin and take Latin with me this fall. I'm Mr. Judkins, and I want you to take Latin. Make sure you stop by the bank to buy prom tickets, Blue Devil merchandise, and senior lock-in tickets. Senior night will be on the 24th of February. Join us for a night of entertainment and awards. The lock-in will be on February 9th, and tickets will be $5. We'll be having a dodgeball tournament, watching movies, and dinner will be provided, so make sure you come join in on some of the fun. An SRO officer will be present on the night of the lock-in, so keep the trouble locked out. No promises. That's all for today, Blue Devils. This has been news to you from the White and Blue. Just a small town.